Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time I'm looking at Black Panther issue 2, legacy number 174. This is from the 2018 series and it's the Intergalactic Empire of Wakanda storyline. This is book 1, Many Thousands Gone. Issue 2, of course, Tanahisi Coates was the writer, Daniel Acuna was the artist, VC's Joe Sabino lettering, Daniel Acuna cover artist, and there's some variant covers that I don't really care about. I do like the cover, I thought it was kind kind of neat looking. That scene doesn't actually happen in here, but you know, whatever. All right, so we start off with the run on the Death Star, because that's what this fight scene looks like. There's these shuttle things, and they're being pursued by the Empire, and T'Challa is able to maneuver his ship in unusual ways, they just say. Uh, there's this cool lighting effect that lets him see in, like, Tron vision, and apparently move his ship with the Force or something. It's not explained how he can do it, or exactly what he's even doing. So he takes out most of the fleet single-handedly because you're not allowed to have any actual threat of life or damage but that's most the issue is that flying shooting scene kind of neat and he has little visions of Aurora and then we go over to the Empire to the planet Bast which is the throne world of the Empire and we see this uh, Lord Injatica who is obviously displeased with his men for not killing some heretic and that led to all of this so he kills a guy and orders that guy's men to be killed after they're interrogated. And we learn that the rebels were after the Macron shard. It's a much different take on Black Panther, and I still have no idea what's going on, but it was a pretty fun issue. Uh, it was a lot less heavy-handed on the slave stuff. It's no longer scenes from Roots. Instead, it's scenes from A New Hope. So I, I think Luke Skywalker is showing up somewhere in the future. I don't know. Uh, it didn't make much sense, but it was a pretty fun read. It was a lot better than I expected expected honestly and i am intrigued to see where the next issue goes so i will probably be picking that up but i'd recommend this was it four dollars good probably not it was a real fast read it was probably three dollars good the art's pretty cool i thought that looked and everything looked okay the colors were really cool actually they had kind of a digital effect on the ships looked pretty neat overall i would say it's pretty good the the paper is garbage so be careful when you're handling it you will get ink on your hands because marvel does not understand that their paper quality Quality is really hurting their sales that's why I don't buy a lot of them anymore so I will probably pick up the next issue it really comes down to how I'm feeling at the time I would recommend this one especially if you can find it for less than four bucks it, there wasn't enough going on to justify four dollars and the paper quality is complete trash so there's no reason they should be trying to charge four dollars for something that's a lower quality paper and ink wise than what Alterna is putting out for a buck fifty but that's just my opinion as always Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing so you never miss a review. And we hope to see you on the next one.